You know what the great thing about being at children's trading card game events is? You'll never know whose phone number you're going to actually pick up in an event. And it's really strange because I didn't actually think I would get a hookup like this. And sometimes you just gotta be looking at yourself after you pick up a phone number and go, God damn, I'm a stylish looking motherfucker. You know, I'm like, I'm 400 pounds, I'm in my prime. You know, I'm in my late 20s, I'm getting all the fucking pussy I could ever want. Life is truly great. And then you realize, it's not actually a phone number you got. It's an email. It's the moral of the story, kids. Welcome to my life. Alright, so this was a video that has been requested. Actually a lot and it is building relationships with stores now at first I wasn't going to make this video because I don't really I don't know if it's a lot of knowledge that I should be giving at this point to people and I don't mean to come off as like a condescending asshole but to get this far and develop these relationships no I'm not gonna show you the email it's on here god guys you perverts I think that it's it's important that you understand what you have to do to build these relationships so first off you guys know ooh, wrong breast pocket this this shirt yes that that's that's a hole in my shirt deal with it we were always being you know destroyed in our shirts Robbie can you please wear a shirt that doesn't look like you slept in it how dare you assume my shirt style? I'm offended. God, we were always looking swaggish. In order to develop these relationships with stores, they're usually typically, you have to do something that would warrant you, whether or not it's getting product at near cost, or you're doing some sort of mutual relationship with these stores. Now, to clarify a few things here, over the weekend, I was at Carpite Vanguard, um, chilling, um, just talking to people, and I actually went over and talked to one of the vendors, and I found out that um, they were actually, I'm not going to say a fan, because that, that's not the proper terminology, but like, they've seen me around at Yu-Gi-Oh events, and we were getting to talk, and he was like, hey, if you need anything, shoot me an email and I can work out getting you a discount on stuff. I was like, wow, you know, like, that's really cool. But because I've been involved in these things, things like this, these relationships can kind of develop. You know, it's the same thing with this channel, you know, No Limit Game. You guys see me wearing the same fucking blue shirt. They're not all the same shirt. We have like eight of these, but for some fucking reason, everyone thinks it's the same blue shirt. You know, you always see No Limit Gaming somewhere along what I'm doing. You know, I'm usually wearing it at events when I'm playing. You know, that's a relationship I developed back in 2008. You know, the owner of the company I've known since nearly 10 years ago. And it's a relationship that I've built throughout time and now I'm helping advertise this company and in return you know we get product to open and we get cards to fucking play with you know like you have to understand these relationships that you build sometimes they're all about being in the right place or whatnot but you can't expect to go to your locals and be like hey you know what can I do for you the fucking first immediate response they're going to tell you is, are you going to, like, blow me off? Like, what the fuck you talking about, kid? Like, what? What? Point is, and I can't stress this enough, for a locals to want to give you anything, you have to be of some self-worth to them. You know, I have another, I have one of my locals up here. I'm helping record for their YouTube channel, and in return, he's hooking me up with product, which is extremely nice. You know, we have content rolling out. It's phenomenal, but that's a mutual relationship. 
That's something that I offer to him in exchange. You all, you guys also have like this weird fucking tandem with LGSs, and it's really fucking annoying on this channel because I've seen the fucking struggle. Most people like I would rather buy online, okay? And the place you go to isn't fucking making a goddamn dime off of you. Buy your fucking sleeves. Spend the extra fucking dollar. That's a dollar that keeps the fucking locals that you play at once a week go. And then most people are like, well, why the fuck do my locals go out of business? I don't get it. It's because you didn't fucking buy anything from them. I can't stress this enough. Yes, I do a lot of fucking buying online myself. I know. But, if I need a pack of sleeves, and I'm there, or if I know in advance, I'll buy them. It's very fucking simple. You know, buy a bag of chips. You know, they're not fucking making anything off of it, honestly. Buy a pack of cards. You know, I've said in my videos years ago, for those of you that are like the loyalist of the blue squad, you know, support your locals. You know, if you're expecting to get into a relationship at a locals where you're not spending a fucking dime, I got fucking news for you. You're not getting shit. Like, and this video won't even apply to a lot of people. Now, there are some people that get into relationships with locals by selling them a lot of cards. You know, sometimes you'll get <laughs> the friendly hookup. And when I say, like, the friendly hookup, I mean, like, if, you, if you're a loyal customer, they might take 5-10% off your order. You know, like, there's a lot of locals out there that if you buy over a certain amount, you know, you'll be able to save some money. You know, I've seen some locals, like, you spend $100, you get 10% off. You know, I've, there's a lot of loyalty rewards clubs out there. A lot of these locals have things that are built into them. You know, it's all part about building these things. You know, get to know the owners of these places. You know, there's there's a lot of things that a lot of people can do. Now, you can be like a junior Yugi tuber and you can be like, well, I'm going to record for locals. Get into that relationship. Help them build a YouTube channel. Help them make content. Sell them bulk. You know, buy bulk from them. Buy packs. It's all all about the, the experience. You know, in terms of this, I think this is something that, because I am what I am, you know, sure, why Shores, Card Fight, Vanguard, these, these aren't fucking spectacular games, but if you have someone that's like, hey, you know, like, I'd rather come to you and buy from you, you know, and they know that you do a lot of this, then talk to these people, develop these relationships, they're very fucking straightforward, and as I've said, the exchange, so say a vendor's buying at 50%, and if it's worth their time, you're willing to sit there and spend a couple hundred dollars with them, you're buying at 60 to 70%, they might consider selling to you because it's a quick turnover for them. Now, don't fucking walk up to the vendor being a fucking nobody and being like, hey, can I see the stuff you bought today? I'd like to buy from you at a slightly higher percentage so you can get more money. That's, that's not fucking how that works. You know, that's some fucking massive fucking delusional bullshit that you're fucking thinking that you have a fucking nine inch dick. You're rolling up there. They can fucking see it through your pants and you, they're just fucking so fucking mind blown by what the fuck you're packing. They're like, sure, come on back here and fuck us. Like, I, I know I really haven't given any advice on how to develop these relationships, but like, I think the issue is, hi water, I think the issue with these things is, I'm not going to say that like these relationships have fallen onto my lap, but in order to develop these, there has to be some sort of return, and I don't think a lot of people watching this video are going to generally understand that. You know, if you don't have the ability to buy at cost like some of these stores do talk to these stores before so say okay here's an example say circuit breaker special edition is coming out if you happen to know the knowledge of what a special edition cost uh at cost uh, god i can't even tell you i think a special edition at cost is for the sake of this video it's going to be 54 dollars all right now you don't have the ability to get stuff at cost. 
So you walk into the locals. Um, there's 10 special editions. They typically will sell for 10 bucks a piece, give or take. Stores cost $54. Now, if you've got a really good in with that store and you want to buy a lot of product, then sit down and discuss the ability to buy this large amount of product. Now, sure, the only time that I think that a scenario like this would work is they're getting ready to place their order and you are considering paying in advance. And I mean that a lot because you can burn stores. And I think it's a lot of things that a lot of people get hesitant on. So say I want to order a case of special editions. It's what, 12 of those at, oh man, what is that? My cost as a store is 54 times 12. Guys, I should have been able to do that in my head. 648. Now, if you're willing to buy those from me at, you, you propose, hey, I'll buy them from you at 60 a piece and I'll pay in advance. This It's 720 minus, oh God, back to what I was doing. I make 70 some dollars. I'm more than likely to do that because there's no reason, because you're coming to me and if you're willing to pay in advance and that's what you're willing to, to do it as now there are some stores that won't fucking do that they'll be like nope nada I can't do it you know then that's on the store but that's a free profit um, some stores might want more some stores might be gracious to you to do it it that's a sort of the relationship that I'm talking about here that you might be able to work up and do no like I'm not saying I don't want to see a comments like Robbie I did exactly what you said to do I walked into locals and I was like yeah man like I want to buy this and this is what I want to pay for it don't do that no you need to be in a decent spot to even want to consider to do that um, and it's it's more or less if it's more if it's more like a mom pa kind of shop um, some locals are out there to get the maximum result some of them aren't and I think that's something that people need to understand some stores are willing to take a smaller profit range and which is really good because profits profit other stores want the maximum result and I can't tell you what your locals want because I'm not in your situation and I can't sugarcoat that anymore for you moral of this video opportunity 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 results are key I mean same thing can be said about players wanting to get on the teams you know if you want to be on a team you got to prove yourself and the same thing can be said about relationships with stores you've got to be doing something to want to have them or have you you know shaking hands god this is what fucking the stranger feels like right like you sit on your hand yeah I think I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions that people have is they're entitled to something right off the bat but I don't think that's really the case so I hope I hope people will take that to heart so that's all I've got to say today so if you want to develop a relationship with a store I wish you the best of luck I I don't discondone it, but you need to you need to figure out where you're going to go. And when I say you start a relationship with a store, don't fucking go into the store thinking you're gonna buy fucking OTS five packs for them. No. Stop that shit right now. It's how your locals loses their LGS status. I mean, they're actually their Konami status. Whether or not they're selling fucking shit like that doesn't affect their LGS. LGS means local game store, but don't do it. It's against fucking Konami policy. Alright guys, deuces. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.